Fathers, we give you glory, we give you praise, and we give you honor. We say thank you, Lord God, for another opportunity to be in the land of the living one more time. Yes, Father God, as I come today in the wonderful name of Jesus, I'm praying that, Holy Spirit, that you would be fire in my hands, my feet, and my belly, and you would direct me and lead me tonight in the wonderful name of Jesus. I'm asking, Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. that you would minister to our hearts and to our minds and even to our bodies yes. in the name of Jesus, that we have a teachable spirit, that we're ready to receive everything that you want to impart yes, unto us. Yeah. And we thank you in advance for what you're going to speak and say and do in the name of Jesus. And we said amen. Amen, amen. 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 We're in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 55, and we're going to begin our reading. Hallelujah. We're going to be beginning our reading at verse number 8. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the word of the Lord God reads. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for your word tonight. Yes, in the Lord, name of the name Jesus. Of Hallelujah. The, the word for tonight, the Lord God allowed me to bring forth, the word is shift. <laughs> wow. She did a shift. 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 In the name of Jesus. All right. Shift in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, we thank the Lord God. We thank the Lord God for the shift that's taking place yeah, yeah. even now. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. 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 Right now. yes. Yes. If you're taking any notes, yeah. the title of today's yeah. tonight's message is. It's out of my hands. Come on. Yes, sir. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We have two or three people. It's out of my hands. 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 I don't know what you're going through, but it's out of my hands. 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 It
like much to the natural eye, but we're, we're in yeah. transition, people of God. Yeah, you must it. understand that's that this it. world that we live in is not the same. No, it's not things no. are shifting, mm. things are changing, directions are, are changing, people's yeah. attitudes, the mentality yes. of people has yes. changed, people of God. Yes. You must understand, people are not as friendly as they used to be. Mm -hmm. They're not as compassionate as they used to be. They're not as helpful as they used to be. And so you must understand that there's a shifting taking place. The Lord God said, but I'm calling for, for the remnant. Amen. Yes, Lord God. For those that are still serving the Lord. Because see, holiness is still required. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As many people say, oh, no, that's old-fashioned. Well, let it be old-fashioned to you. But that's the only way you're going to get God's attention. Come on now. But, you know, but tell your neighbor it's out of my hand. It's out of my hand. Hallelujah. You must understand that God is looking for that. That is something that's still a sweet aroma to the Lord God. Operating in holiness and operating in the fruit of the Spirit. It's not an old-fashioned thing. I know that they call this book ancient, but I want you to know that ancient of days have lived by it and Lord God, we're going to live by it. Too. If you want all any answers, it's in the Word. I'm going to tell you, it's out of my hands, people of God. Whatever God has designed to do, He's already has it in mind to do. Come on now. So as many plans that you may have, as much as you put down in what you would like to do, your progress, your, what I want to be in when I turn 45, and what I want to be when I turn 50, what kind of car I want when I turn this and that, and what type of house and the dog, and, uh, but I want you to know that it's already out of your hands. I want you to understand as much as you plan, that your plan can't trump the master's plan. That's right. Come on now. Because the master's plan has different things in mind. Come on now. Sometimes you may go left when you thought you should have went right, but the Lord God said it's still in my hands. Come on. Yeah. It's not in yours, it's in mine. Amen. I want you to understand, people of God, as a, the prophet Isaiah was given this word, he was told, ministered to like we are being ministered to, that my, our thoughts are not his thoughts. That's right. You see, at times we're thinking, sometimes we take God for granted. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Yeah. We Amen. take God as being just a little bitty God or something on the back burner, maybe later on, maybe when, when, I, when I'm tired. But the Lord God should be first. Amen. Amen. At times we take him like that. And if you tell the truth Amen. about at times you treated him that way too. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Because yes. you had something to do. Yes. Amen. Come yes. on. And you put Amen. the Lord after you did and you said, well, he'll understand. Amen. Oh, come on now. Yes. And a lot of times, you know, thank God for the Holy Ghost. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Because he's so oh. merciful. Yes. Uh, so gracious that he even understands. Even when we say, even when we leave away, he just yes. watches us go yes. and just stay waiting for us to come back. Yes. Oh, yes, he's waiting. Yes. Yes. You know, many people won't wait for oh, you yeah. like the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because see, people, uh, they'll tell you that they'll wait for you. You give them, a time, give them about 15 minutes, they go on. Come on now. <laughs> but when the Lord is in some, he don't mind waiting. Talk to me now. Ooh. Hallelujah. I want you to understand that the Lord God said it's out of your hands. I turn with me to the book of Genesis. There we go. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter number 25. I want you to see something, people of God. In Genesis 25, there's a matter that's about to, that's taking place with uh, men of God that took place in their lives and it was already out of their hands. Before they were born, it was out of their hands. Come mm -hmm. on now. In Genesis chapter number 25, I want you to put your eye on verse number 22. We're going to be beginning our reading there, but I want you to understand what's happening here as you're turning, turning to that passage of scripture. I want you to understand that we were talking about Rebecca and Isaac. Rebecca and Isaac, and Isaac married Rebecca, uh, and they were married, Isaac and Rebecca, but Rebecca was barren. She couldn't have any kids. And sure enough, her husband prayed for her that he, the Lord would open up her womb. And the Lord God did just that. And when he opened up her womb, all of a sudden she was, she was pregnant. She was ready to conceive. And sure, look, let's pick up our reading. And verse number 22, the word of the Lord God says, But the children struggled within her. And she said, If all is well, why am I like this? Come on now. Tell your neighbor, it's out of my hands. It's, it's out, out of my hands. hands. I want you to understand that Rebecca made the question, as many of us, and Lord God, why is it like this? I don't understand what's going on in Come my on. life, but why is it like this? Yeah. People aren't talking yeah. to me, but why is it like this? Right. People decided they try to pick up and leave, but why is it like this? Wow. I want you to understand what Rebecca didn't understand that it was already out of my hands. Yeah. The Lord God said, I have given, I have blessed her with two nations. Huh? Within her womb. She was trying to figure out what 
could she do? She didn't understand what was going on. I know that's not part of the message, but I feel like that the Holy Spirit is laying there, right on there. I'm going to stay on that vein. Why am I like this? Why are things going on in my life that I can't seem to figure out? Why haven't they given me the breakthrough that I've been looking? Why is my everything that I'm praying for being held up? The Lord God said, I want you to know, sons and daughters, it's already out of your hands. You're trying to figure it out, and God said, I've already got things in motion. But I want you to know, it's called a divine shift in the name of Jesus. What God is going to do, God is going to do all by himself. He doesn't need no help. Hallelujah. But it's even though you ask the question, why am I like this? The Lord God would like for you to know that there are some things I already have in motion. I wanted you to understand that because surely enough, you see, I'm trying to give you a little history. Amen in the name of Jesus. Give you a little history because you see, she was pregnant with twins, two nations. And she asked the Lord God, why is it like this? I don't understand. See, they didn't have ultrasound. They didn't have those, I can tell what you have in bar, girl. We got all kind of technology now. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? You're hurting and you don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. But God already has a plan. Mm -hmm. Ooh, come on now. Yeah, got you it. don't understand what you're feeling. You don't you know something going on, yeah. but you mm -hmm. can't seem to figure it out. Uh, uh, your waddle's a little bit more wider than what your waddle used to be. Mm -hmm. Your crying is a little bit longer than what you normally cry. Your ache's a little bit harder than what you yeah. would be. But you don't understand, but God has something in store. It's all already out of her hand. The word of the Lord God said that she was pregnant with two nations in her womb. Two people shall, shall be separated from your body. Lord have mercy. One shall be stronger than the other and the older shall do what? Serve the younger. All right, now that's the foundation of where we're going. You must understand that she was pregnant with twins and the word of the Lord God already spoke that the older shall do what? Serve the younger. I'm telling you, it's already out of your hands. I give God glory for that. As I turn, turn with me. Are we walking through the word tonight in the name of Jesus? Turn, but we're still in Isaiah. Turn, I mean, I'm sorry, still in Genesis. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Genesis chapter number 49. Thank you, Lord God. You're in Genesis 49. Now keep in mind the key players in, in the word of God. Keep in mind. We're in Genesis chapter number 49. As we're turning there, we are going to be embarking upon our brother Joseph. Remember, Joseph was the man of God, the coat of many colors. He was sold into slavery. The Lord God allowed him to go from the palace, from the from the pit to the palace. Amen. Well, just remember, Joseph, there he has two sons. Amen. He has two sons. And he would like for his daddy to bless him. And guess who his daddy is? His daddy is Israel. Amen. Which was called Jacob. But remember, if you remember your Bible well, talk to me, Holy Spirit. You remember your Bible well. Jacob was the one who, who robbed his brother Esau of the blessing. Am I right about it? You see, Jacob was the younger. And the older had to serve the younger. All right mm -hmm. now. Okay. So right. all this is coming into play. First, before I tell your neighbor, it's out of your hands. It's it's out of my hands. hands. You must understand. See, Rebecca didn't understand what was going on, but God already had something in store. Just like he had something in store for us. It's already out of our hands. See, but we just got to let some things unfold with this, uh, what you call time. Amen. Mm -hmm. We got to let some things just continue to operate. Get out of the Lord's way and let, them, let things mm -hmm. operate. Because surely enough, Jacob robbed his brother Esau. The younger one sold his brother's birthright. He slept in there and he took the blessing. His daddy was old and old of age and laid hands, but he came in and he took that blessing. So Jacob is now called Israel. And surely enough, now he has a son named Joseph. Don't think that Israel did not remember what he had done to his brother Esau. Talk to me now. But it was already, but at, at his old age, people of God want to understand, he finally got the message as to what God was doing, that the younger will be the ruler of the older. See, he didn't understand why he did what he did to his brother Esau at the time. But surely enough, when his own son comes to him, Joseph, and brings his boy, and say, Daddy, I want you to bless my children. Mm -hmm. He leans both his sons to his daddy, and his daddy did a crisscross. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Come on now. I'm telling you, I told you it's a shift. Amen. Because the Joseph understood that his daddy was old in age. So Joseph said, well, look, I'm going to put the young one over here. And I'm going to put the older one over here. You see, I'm going to tell you it's already out of your hands. You're, you're trying to set some things up the way you think that God should have things going. But the Lord God said, I'm going to mess around and do a crisscross on you. Because you don't understand. It's already out of your hands. You see, Joseph said, well, look, you know, it's just like us. I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to do this and this time. I'm going to put everything so that way God don't have the problems. You know? I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to help the Lord out. I'm going to line up all these things right here. And I'm going to line up all the things right here. That's the only thing the Lord God just got so blessed and blessed. But the Lord God said, it's not going to work that way. Because it's out of your hand. The Lord God said, I'm going to do this here. I'm going to do a crisscross. Yes, Lord. See, you thought I was going to bless you over here. I'm going to bless you over here. Come on, Lord God. You thought I was going to bless you with that. I'm going to bless you with this. And then I'm going to give you that. He said, it does a crisscross. So what, what his daddy did... In his feeble eyes, in verse 40, if you're in 48, turn with, just look right there, look right there, 48. Look at 48, 14. Look at it, it says, then Israel, which is called Jacob, if you write in your Bible, you should write that down. That Israel, his name, is, that's Jacob right there, stretched out his right hand and laid it on Ephraim's head, who was the younger. That way he wasn't supposed to do that. He wasn't supposed to do that. I'm here to tell you. Come on now. He put it on Ephraim's head, who was younger. And his left hand went on Manasseh's. Mm -hmm. the, that, that's the older one. Knowingly, for Manasseh was the firstborn. Mm -hmm. And then he turned around and, and he blessed Joseph uh, and said, and he was blessing the children. Bless the lads. Let my name be, be named upon them. And the name my father's Abraham, Isaac. And let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. And look at his daddy. Joseph all of a sudden gets upset. In verse 17 it says, mm -hmm. Now when Joseph saw his father had laid his right hand on the baby, <laughs> Ephraim, mm -hmm. it displeased him. And he looked at his father. And he asked his father to remove his hand and put it on Manasseh. But surely enough, that did not occur. And you must understand the reason why that it was already out of, it was out of the, the uh, it was out of Joseph's hand because God had a plan. Because see, even with that, what I'm trying to get for you to understand is that your younger is going to rule over your older. When Jesus Christ was born and we accepted him as personal Lord and Savior, you see, we were living, the old man was born first. Right. Right. We were born first. Right. But when we got saved, we was what? Born, born again. again. Amen. Right. And so if the younger is going to rule over the older, that means on, the born again on, child of God on, on. have got to rule over this, that, that flesh when we were born into this. That's why I'm telling you, that's why the Bible tells us that the, that the older must serve the younger. That means no matter what's going on, this flesh of ours, this carnal mind, this carnal behavior that we act like, that we came into this world with, Come all on. this, in, it's got to bow Come to the spirit of the living God that lives with us. I'm here to tell you, it's Come out of your hands, people of God. Whenever you got saved, you said, Lord God, I accept you as my personal Lord. And said, the Lord God said, good. He said, I'm about to do a, a crisscross on you. Hey, the most something that I'm, I'm about to do, tell you that. I'm about to do a crisscross on you. Look at all right. Out of your hands, the Lord God said, I'm about to make that you oh that, that this older man has got to bow yeah, to this yeah. new child yeah. of God. Mm -hmm. yes, See all the things that you that you were planning on doing in the flesh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it. When you got saved, your plans became scrapped. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden you, you see like you got new plans. Now people are like, what you got planned to do? Well, whatever the Lord put before me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you, you're learning not, not to plan too much, too much ahead. Because God has a tendency to do a shift. I'm trying to tell you that people are back. You know, most people are like a shift. I want you to know that it's good when God does the divine shift. And it's good because, do you realize, do you realize that there's advancement when God does a shift? Okay, hallelujah. That there's promotion when God does a shift. Hallelujah. That you grow when God does a shift. I want you to say that you need to... Hey, be open and ready for divine shifting to take Amen. place. Amen. Because it's already out of your hand. You see, you thought you were going to be blessed and going through this thing. And the Lord God said, I'm, I'm about to do a crisscross on you. Mm -hmm. You see, you keep putting all this stuff before me and telling me this is what I want, this is what I did. And the Lord God said, I'm about to do it just like this. <laughs> see, your, your, your blessing will come on package you weren't expecting. Shh. Come on, yes. Lord. Right yes. now. Yes. Hallelujah! Yes. Yes, Lord. You see, you are looking yes, for it. it it's yes, under it your was. hands. You are looking for it to be packaged with the red gold 
And all of a sudden, God gave you a blue moon. Hallelujah. <laughs> he gave you a blue moon. He said, ah, he said, you're already coming with the blood. He said, you need some authority. Yes, Lord God, you need some authority. In the name of Jesus. So you need to take your God-given authority in the spirit realm. Because see, you're already covered by the blood. He said that the blood is all over your doorway. It's all over you. It's all over your home. And the Lord God said, now you got the blood to cover you. Now take your authority in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You must understand that it's out of your hands, people of God. It's out of your hands, people of God. You're trying to get some things together. The Lord God said, whenever there's a shift, I'm going to tell you that there's, there's advancement. Hallelujah. There's some new assignments. Some new assignments. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some new assignments. You can have a new vision. When God does a divine shifting, there is some new assignment. You're like the Lord God. I was used to doing it. The Lord God said, I'm about to do a crisscross on you. shifting taking place. It's already out of your hands. Stop struggling and just let the shift occur in the name of Jesus. You see, you're, you're trying to kick against the grove. You're acting like the Apostle Paul. You're kicking up against what's trying to bless you. Hey, it's called a divine shift. The Lord God said, if I moved it, I need it for it to move. My God. That's it. My God. That's it. Hey, the Lord. It's called a divine shifting in the spirit in the name of Jesus. It is divinely done. That means man cannot do this shift. Man doesn't have the power to do this shift. See, only man can shift from gear one. But God can shift from gear one to gear four in a second. In a see, they see man. See, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. See, in the natural, we got to go from gear shift one with the clutch, shift two, shift three. You know, we got to go through that pom 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 pom. I may feel it. Yeah, you do that. But when you're in the spirit, and when God is in charge, God says, I can shift you from one to four in a minute. And, and it won't strip no gears. You won't be stripped of anything. Matter of fact, you'll mess around and get double. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord God, you must understand. That's how, that's how he does a divine shifting. That's how you do a divine shifting. That you don't, it doesn't subtract from you. That it only adds to you. In the name of Jesus. It's already out of your hands. Wow. It's already out of your hands. You've been trying to figure it out, but it's out of yes. your hands. Yes. It's already yes. out of your hands. Some of you just need to start thanking the Lord God yeah, the for Lord things Lord. working out Thank in your favor Lord. because yes. you didn't think it was working for your good. Yes. But the Lord God said, all things work together for the good for those who are called according to his purpose. The Lord God said, I'm working some things out. It's called a divine shift. Hallelujah. It's called a divine shift. I love it. I did not, did not tell you that we're in Isaiah as well. Did not tell you it's time to shift. In Isaiah chapter number 60, the Lord God tells you. It tells you <laughs> that your blessings, you're going to be blessed instead of shame. Hey, Come on, Lord, 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 Lord. Yep, get yep, ready for yep, the yep, shift. Yep, right, Lord, get yep. ready for the shift. Oh, yeah. Get ready for the shift. Okay, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, get ready for your shift, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Isaiah 60, mm -hmm. hallelujah. Look at that. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. He's going to tell you right there in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Me, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord God. He said, Lord. All right, Lord. He's, uh, I'm all over the place. Help me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. He said, you got to be ready for the shift. Tell your neighbor, it's out of my hand. It's out of my hand. It's out of my hand. Say it like you mean it. It's out of my hand. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. You must yes, understand that the Lord God said 61 and 7. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. You put your eyes on it. 61 and 7. Instead of your shame. No, right. Instead of your shame. Oh, I'm going to say it again. Ooh, instead of your it. shame, yeah. I don't know what you've been going through, but instead of your shame, yeah. Yeah. you shall have trouble on yeah. in the name of Jesus. 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 Instead yeah. of that yeah. laughter behind your back, yeah. oh, yeah. Harry, go on, yeah. Yeah. double on yeah. 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 So behind them yeah. daggers yeah. and behind your back, yeah. Yeah. how about double up? Yeah. instead of your shame? Yeah, yeah. yeah you've been going through some things and yeah. people have been looking at you funny and acting strange with you. Yeah, but they don't know what's going on in your house and yeah, at times we operate, we're going to hit down. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're operating, there's some things that we're not glorified about. Come we're on. saying, Lord God, I, I desire for those things not to be that way. But you know what? God said, I came for those who I bore, bore shame on the cross. He yeah. said, I wore shame so you don't have to be ashamed anymore. He said, but I'm going to tell you what, for those of you, instead of your shame, instead of feeling bad about your circumstance, tell your neighbor, it's out of my hands. It's out of my hands. Instead of you feeling bad about the Lord, God said, I'm going to turn around and give you trouble. Give it to Honor yes. for your shame. Yes. I want you to know that all the stuff that you were feeling, the Lord God says, my sons and my daughters, my kings and my queens. He said, I want you to know that that shame is already taken care of. I'm about to give you double honor. You need to write your name if it's not by. I said Isaiah 61. I'm going to help me, Holy Ghost. Verse number 7. Instead. I don't know about you, but I'm going to take double Amen. instead of shame. Yeah, Amen. yeah, yeah. If you've been yeah. feeling that way, the Lord God said, it's already out of your hands. Thank you you had no control of the situation. Talk to me, Holy Ghost. Okay, See, Lord. some of us, were up, yeah. some things have happened we had no control over. Yeah, Thank you, Lord God. Yes, some Lord. things just were happening. Yes. You know, the enemy was busy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But yeah. thank God for being God in the yes, name of God. Because yeah. even though the devil was busy, God's better than God. Than yes. the devil. Yes. Come on now. Yes. He's trumped yes. him. That means even though the enemy thought that you had your all wrapped up and tied up and felt like you know well, they're gonna go and walk out they're gonna quit God they're gonna walk with their head down but that's all right the Lord God says I know it's already in his hands see that that was the only way God said he said I'm, that'll keep you humble right there Jesus. see some of us you know what you may not think that you know that would bother you but the Lord God said I know you better than you know yourself he said see that'll make you pray a little longer I don't know about you, but whenever things happen like that, oh, you pray a little long. Mm -hmm. You pray a little hard. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord God. Whenever those things start happening, when those darts come at you, the Lord God said, you see, see, it was already, it's out of your hands anyway. He said, I allowed it. Now, keep in mind, the devil don't have that much power. That's right. He don't have power to direct your life. He, the Lord God, whatever's happening, God's allowed. It. That's, That's right. right. Yes, God. Uh -huh. I need to right. that. Mm -hmm. You know what? You know what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, matter of fact, the Bible said in the book of Job, the devil had to ask permission. Yeah, right. right. yeah. Yes. In order to touch yes. our lives. That's right. hey. Permission. Now, we, if we start thinking of the, our lives that way, that means whatever that we're going through, we're already, it's already out of our hands. That's right. Yes. Control. But because that means God is allowing us. Now, do we know all the answers? No, we no, don't. No. Because our thoughts are not his thoughts. But just Amen. know that it's already out of our hands. If God allowed this, got to be something that he's doing. That I don't have the answer for. But you know what, Lord God? I'm just going to trust you. Amen. Now, I don't know about you, but whenever you, when you realize that it's out of your hands, that's an area of trust. That, yeah, yeah. When you can't put your hand on it, put your finger on it, you know, like this, oh, my nose is just itching, I can't figure it out. The Lord God said, just know, it's already, it's out of your hands. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, people of God, I'm going somewhere tonight. You must understand that God is trying to tell you something tonight that it's out of your hands. I want you to know that in, uh, in the book of Esther, Queen Esther, hallelujah, there were some things that were happening to her, and it was already out of her hands. Come on now. Queen Esther, many of you know the story. 
Hallelujah, that she was a beautiful, fair maiden, but she was a Jewish, hallelujah, of a Jewish descent. And there were some things that were happening in the palace that, that Haman wanted to plot and to kill uh, the, all of the Jews of the land, including her dad, Mordecai. But thank God for being God.